today I'm really gonna put myself to the test here and I'm gonna try to fish the worst public ponds in my city. For those that don't know, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina and while Charlotte has some awesome public lakes, it has probably some of the worst public ponds that I could possibly imagine. For a city that has nearly 2.2 million people, there's only about 10 ponds in the entire city. So as you would imagine, if I'm being quite frank, the ponds get the absolute shit beat out of them. From litter to fish harvesting to just general catch and release fishing pressure, it has made it extremely difficult to catch any fish on anything but live bait. But with enough determination and dedication, I believe anything is possible. So today I'm going to put these ponds to the test with the over 20 years of pond angling experience that I have. So who knows, maybe I'll even catch a giant. Let's go put these ponds to the test. I've made it to the spot, guys. Let's go ahead and pop out and give this first city pond a shot. Let's see what we got for gear with us today. I think I'm gonna bring three rods. They're all tangled in a knot back here. And I think with that, we should be good to go. Just gotta grab the water. I wanna walk all the way down towards the end of this pond to get started. There's actually like an island, and I kinda of just wanna get up on that island and fish in the little, I guess you could call it a canal that goes around it. Basically the pond just kind of surrounds it. It gets real narrow over here. And I think that's probably gonna be the best place to start if these fish are pushing up and spawning and whatnot in here because it should be the most wind protected just because there's kind of a lot of stuff around it. There's also a little bridge over here that entices me. So I think if we do a little bit of flipping and pitching around this general area, I think it should be a good place to start. Oh, something just popped off right there. I don't know if that was a fish or not, but we're right at this area where I wanted to get started. Just let me get across this bridge and we'll get cranking. I think I'm gonna get started with this Thunder Cricket. See if we can't just cover some water and get a bite or two that way to begin with. If this isn't working, probably switch over to something a little bit slower. Nothing up underneath that bridge. With this at least, I'm definitely gonna flip it. Just walk down this bank just a tad bit, bang this wall, try not to get in that tree. Can't tell you how long it's been since I fished this pond, guys. It's probably been, I don't know, 15 years, 20 years. There's definitely a lot of gunk in here. There's a bunch of stuff that from like cutting the grass and things regularly in here. I think that is probably most of what's on the surface. I just missed one. I just got absolutely hammered. Oh my golly. I have a bad tendency of leaving my stuff unattended. <laughs> Probably should not leave my fishing rods and my $7,000 camera just sitting here waiting for somebody to come by and scoop it with my back turned to it. No luck with the Thunder Cricket. Let's go ahead and change gears over to this Rage Menace. Try slowing it down, see if we can't get a bite that way. Let's get this thing under the bridge. Oh, I just got bumped by something. Felt very, very small, like a like some kind of little panfish or something like that. Like a little doot doot. But something did nibble me. I did get a little action. Okay, okay. Maybe there's some life in here after all. Switching gears, going to the tried and true, the two taps. See if I can't get something with this. I'm coming out here kind of to this main pond area where I can actually throw this. If I try to throw this back where I was fishing, there was no chance I could even fish with this thing at all. It would just get grass on it in like 0.2 seconds. So we're gonna see how it does out here. So far, not great. There's a little junk on there. There's one. 
Yeah, finally. <laughs> Let's freaking go. The two tap never fails, baby. Yes. Heck yes. Let's freaking go. And it's a good one, too. Fat and healthy. This is a weird thing to say. I don't know if I've ever described a bass in this way, but it it's lighter than it looks. Like, this is like the lightest feeling fish I've ever caught that looks this size. I mean, it looks like it's nice and girthy. It almost feels like this fish is full of air. I don't even know how to describe it. It's such a, a odd feeling, but that's kind of what I'm experiencing right now. So I felt like I should at least try to describe it to y'all, but that is a solid fish. I'll take that all day. Let's get her back in. Here you go, baby. We'll let you go back in there. Go find yourself some nice bluegill. I am not gonna lie guys, I was like 0.2 seconds from leaving this pond. I've been here probably about an hour-ish now, maybe an hour, 10, hour, 20 minutes. And I haven't had much. I had one bite on the Thunder Cricket and I finally got that strike almost instantly after I switched over to the two tap. So I'm gonna give this a go some more and really try to crank this thing out around this stuff and see if we can't find a few more bass. Ugh, got gunk on my rod again. What, what is that? Dude, please don't tell me that's what I think it is. Oh my gosh. Cl oh my gosh. Well, I don't know if I want to touch that or not. I'm not. If that's what I think it is, that is a, that's a classic city pond catch for you. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to sterilize my whole body after that. Goodness gracious. Let me know what's the weirdest thing y'all have ever caught down in the comments below. I think that might have just topped it for me. <laughs> I think that might be top of the list. Well guys, I fished the island about as good as I could with all the baits that I brought. I fished it really dang thoroughly actually. I spent like an hour and a half over there and it's not that big of an island. But I came over here to the middle of the pond now. We're gonna try cranking some more over here. We'll probably try a little bit of everything just to see if we can't get something going. But I got a bite on that crankbait, so let's go ahead and continue with that. Come on, bass, be over here. Let me just find a few out here in the middle scattered out about. So there's actually a little creek that runs by this pond. It's right off to the side of it. So I wanted to come down here and give this a shot. This creek has traditionally sucked. <laughs> yeah, to be frank, this creek absolutely sucks. But we're gonna give it a shot. Pretty much the only thing you can catch in here is little like sunfish and stuff. Even like way downstream where I've fished this creek where it gets a lot deeper and bigger, there's just hardly any bass. Oh, <laughs> I said the hook and I was like, no way, no freaking way. It's a rock, unfortunately snagged. I think this one is a goner. Just finished retying and I'm gonna throw on a black and blue this time instead of that blue crawl that I had on earlier. I think this is definitely gonna work better. We've had a lot of rain recently. Everything is super stained, everything is dirty. And you definitely want something that is gonna stand out in that dark water. It has a lot of contrast and there's no better way to do that than some black and blue. Like a decent spot to post up. Maybe we got some fountain fish out here. I feel like every pond's got at least one fountain fish. Yeah, let's go. That's a decent sized fish. That is a decent sized fish. <laughs> that is a spring fatty. 
in the public pond, baby. Let's go. Hammered that thing, man. Absolutely hammered. I told you, every pond has a fountain fish. And sure enough, that's where that guy was hanging out, kind of close to that fountain. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is going way better than I anticipated. I was expecting to come out here hoping to maybe get one bite today. Like, that was it. Uh, these ponds are not known to be good at all. And the fact that I've been able to come out here and catch two pretty quality sized bass, I, I can't complain. This is awesome. This is, this is really a treat, to be honest. I think this one is a bit of an upgrade from last time. So let's keep it going, man. The fish are biting. Here you go, big mama. What you go? Big old public palm bass. Well guys, I have given this pond my best shot over the last like two and a half hours. So I think we're gonna pack it up and head to another one. As of right now, guys, I am thoroughly impressed with how today is going. I mean, I was not expecting to come out here and land two chunks, man. Those were some solid fish. I'm, I'm hoping the next few ponds go the same way. I'm gonna go and get a haircut, actually. I have a haircut at like 11.30, gotta do something about all this goodness up here. But as soon as I get that haircut, I'm gonna go hit a pond that's right next to where I get it cut. It's called Elon Park, and there's like a little small pond that has some bank fishing access that I've actually never fished it before. So I figured I might give it a shot while I'm over there. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Pond number two, here goes nothing. I'm hoping we can get something going on right now. I just checked some apps and it seems like some people have caught some fish out here so that is good news oh it's such a pain getting these things out of the car there we go got it straight chocolate milk as expected we're just gonna go ahead and get set up right here and we'll get started with moving baits they seem to be productive today so might as well cover some water and then slow it down if we don't have any luck with that under cricket is the move This is definitely more of like a natural looking pond versus the, the last one I fished. That last one was a straight city pond. All nice and, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, thank goodness. All nice and manicured. This one has definitely more of a natural feel to it. So I'm already liking the looks of this one a little bit better. I wonder if there's a way for me to get over to the other side of this pond and fish kind of that end of it. This is definitely the dam in. You can tell by like the kind of the high wall over here. So it's definitely going to be deeper over here. So I feel like if these fish are pushed up and spawning, there's a better chance that they're going to be on that side of the pond. I ran back to the car really quick so I could grab my boots because it is super muddy around this pond. I wanted to kind of get back in here to this harder to get stuff where the fish might not be as pressured. And I think that should help us hopefully find a bite or two. Definitely gonna need the boots to get back here because it is a swamp. I'm seeing a lot more activity as I kind of go around this pond compared to the last one. There's a lot of like little swirls and stuff near the bank. I've seen some bait flicker. I'm hoping that means that this is gonna be a little bit more productive. This looks like a good spot. Fire this away. Come on, there'll be something up in here. I just had one hit the thunder cricket. Oh, come on, come back, come back. <sighs> Shucks, man. I'm gonna try showing these fish something different before I move down the bank. Give them the old lipless. This is some of the worst water clarity I've seen in a minute. Oh, working my way like all the way around this pond. And of course, what do I find over here? None other than the, the fisherman's choice right here, guys. This is a classic public pond find. I'm just gonna put that to the side. I'll throw that away. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that these fish eat more than super worms. I'm hoping that they like thunder crickets as well. 
Just one fish. Just one fish. Maybe. Just maybe. There's one. Oh, false alarm. The old tree pounder gets you every time. Please come off of here. Please come off of here. Yes. Yes. Gosh, that is the best feeling. When you're bank angling and you have no way to go get your bait besides getting in the water if you really want to and it comes free. Whew. Unfortunately, in that last pond, I did not catch any fish as expected, but hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. But as always, guys, fasten is a passion. Peace out.